lot I play without the words. So the intro is made up of two bits really. So the first bit I just play the root notes um, and just one because it's just rhythm guitar. So I just go along with that. Um, and then the next bit is when everyone kicks in. So my bit's a little bit more complicated. Um, I made that a little bit more complicated because the lead guitar is, is not doing anything too fancy. Um, and there's no vocals yet, so it gives me a little bit of space to to do something. So what I do there is um, this. And that goes through twice. Um, I'll play that through in a second when it starts. the introduction to the song um, and then you get the burst the burst is again it's it starts off with just individual chords so I just do the root notes with that again and then the second half of the verse I uh, the whole band kicks in so I don't do anything too fancy um, for no particular reason there it's got the vocals over the top so and I've just done the intro bit so I didn't want to over overdo it so I just go and then that leads into the pre-chorus um, yeah that bit is basically following just following the rhythm guitar so um, I didn't really do that at all uh, just just following the rhythm guitar chorus that it's about to go into um, is just three notes but then you stay on the last note for two bars so um, so when I do that I just follow the rhythm guitar and then for the last note I just did a little bit of a just to mix it up really just so I wasn't on that note for too, too long um, to make it a bit boring so I just go and then go around and do it again and then that leads into the chorus so um, then that leads into the chorus this song in fact the bass line in this song I really basically just do uh, different ways of doing like the fifth notes um, just because it makes it a little bit funkier and it makes it a little bit different so um, that's what I focused on so that was the same in the introduction just did a lot of um, fifth notes with some uh, embellishments in there but yeah so the chorus is literally just fifth notes um, on all of the root notes of the chorus um, and then at the end of the chorus when it goes round again um, what I do is like it's it's basically half a scale um, so I do the second half of it um, I think it's a blue scale oh. um, so yeah, nothing too fancy there. Um, yeah, so like I said, the reason I do that is just just to give it a little bit of little bit of bounce um, and to frame 
frame the chords a little bit, um, but also not let it be too boring. Well, I Um, so yeah, then there's a bit between the chorus and the second verse, which is, um, it's also going to be the same as the bridge, which comes a little bit later. For that bit, I just follow the rhythm guitar and follow the, the bass notes, the bass notes, the root, root notes. Um, just, yeah, no, no reason really, just to, I've been a little bit fancy for the chorus, so. I sort of strip it back a little bit. I try and alternate as much as I can, um, just so it doesn't get too much or too little. So try and mix that up. Then it goes into the like the. Um, goes into the verse again and then it's going to go into the pre-chorus and then the chorus again and then it's going to go into the bridge so I'll play that through real quick because it's all the same stuff um, exactly the same the only difference is there's a little bit of a uh, a rhythm change so when the rhythm changes when everyone else's rhythm changes I change my rhythm as well just to match it um, <laughs> So that is going into the bridge, um, which is the same as that bit between the chorus and the verse two that was on about earlier. Um, so it's again for that bit, I just play the, the root notes and I just follow the rhythm guitar all the way through. Um, the only slight difference is it changes rhythm again, and I follow that. Um, and there's also a little fill bit that goes just between, just as a, a little bit of a fill, but. Mainly, it's quite simple and just following the rhythm guitar. I could probably make it a little more fancy, but um, I haven't. I might do in the future. So that was the bridge. Um, like I said, I might fancy it up a little bit, um, but at the moment, it's it's. I'm quite happy just following the rhythm guitar and having it a bit, a bit of a slow down chill. Um, so the next bit is the final chorus. So it starts off. The first half of the chorus is just 
root notes. Um, so I just do what I do with the root notes, just do the root notes. Um, and then it goes into the proper chorus, so I do my half sort of scale back into the other chorus and then go to my like fifth notes, um, like I do every time. Then after that it's going to be the end bit. Um, that is just on this note here, um, and it's just held. So to make it like a fancy end, um, I do like a little bit of a, a fancy rundown riff kind of thing, um, just to just just to make it a fancy, nice, exciting ending, really, and to end on a high. So what I do is this, if I can do it properly. Um, and I'll play that in a second, and, and you can see how it goes into the the note. Um, but yeah, the only, the reason I do that is just just because while it's hanging on that one note, um, I just think it sort of makes it a strong a strong ending. So. That's why I do that there. I'll do the same. So that's what I play in Without the Words.